Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Some weird, strange stuff going on around the world. Um, and if you remember in the past couple of videos, we've been talking lately about these strange, I guess you could call them energy waves, that were captured by a couple of satellites orbiting the Earth that basically map out the radiation or microwaves that are encircling our planet. And in some cases, it helps them detect uh, storms and hurricanes and stuff like that. And so over the past week or so, people started noticing on this mimic map some very strange, out of place, and dare I say it, artificial looking patterns that by all accounts on most of them appear to be coming from somewhere down near Antarctica. All right, and I'm showing you the maps of those here. You can see the rest of the map. It has these, you know, abstract, multicolored blobs of energy, okay? That's naturally what it looks like. What it doesn't look like are these strange spirals, these spiral patterns and triangular cone-shaped patterns that we've been seeing over the past week. And what I want to talk about today is a possible link directly with Antarctica, because up until now, nobody really knows what's causing these waves. Uh, nobody really knows whether they're actually coming from Antarctica. And over the past week, there have been some strange world events specifically happening around Brazil. But not only that, I want to show you guys a recent discovery that was found just off the coast of Antarctica uh, of something very strange, we'll just say. And it may directly link to these strange waves that we're seeing here. So here we are, we're on Google Earth. And we're right over the spot where this discovery was made, just off the coast of Antarctica. And I'll put the cords down below. But it's basically right off the coast of something called, and I'm not making this up, Rothschild. It's a peninsula, right off the peninsula, and it's literally called Rothschild. And that name may sound familiar to you. It's probably one of the most well-known names in conspiracy circles today because that is the last name of the famous ultra-rich elite family known as the Rothschilds. And, um, you know, this family has been linked to the Illuminati, the New World Order, the attempted controlling of the world and governments. And, um, you know, that we won't go down that rabbit hole today, but, you know, study up on them. So I thought it was kind of funny that this little area of Antarctica where we've discovered this is called Rothschild. So a viewer of mine was looking around Antarctica right off the coast here, and he discovered what appears to him as a very mysterious uh, grid, I guess you could call it, of sorts. And I'm zooming in here. If you don't see it yet, I'll go ahead and circle it. And this thing is almost in a perfect square. I mean, it is a perfect square. And it's of something. It's a grid of something, a bunch of objects down at the bottom of the ocean. And so here we are, we're zoomed in closer, and you can obviously see the pattern here. You can see how these strange, what look like dots, when you're zoomed out, line up perfectly. They crisscross up and down, forming a almost complete square. And you won't find these anywhere else around this area. The way these Google Maps work is that they have both ships and satellites that through using a number of methods from sonar, radar, and a bunch of other ways that they basically map the topography of the bottom of the ocean, they have been able to give us a very high resolution and detailed views of what the bottom of our oceans look like all around the world. And so when I saw this, it immediately stuck out as artificial obviously. And it reminded me of those crisscrossing square harp grids. Uh, you know, harp is the antenna arrays that many people believe are used. Well, I mean, it's public. They use them to manipulate the weather. And they supposedly shut them down a couple of years ago. However, there's proof that they are back up and running elsewhere. And so uh, as we zoom in here, I want you guys to notice, and at first you may think that these actually look like little holes, but they're not. These are actually little raised bumps, whatever they are, because we, we don't have a super high-res version, but every one of these things is elevated off the ground, like you would think of a spike or a tower. And they're all relatively the same size, and as you're looking at them, you can tell that they all have slightly different shapes, all right? So this is not just a copy of a copy, some image glitch. And furthermore, you can clearly see other features of the ocean floor running in between these things. 
All right, and you can see them. They're three-dimensional. You can see the, the lighting and the shadowing showing that these things are raised up off the floor and are making this eerily perfect, hidden out in the middle of nowhere, the last place you would think to look, this strange grid of something off the coast of Rothschild. And so the big question is, what is this? What is this grid? What are these objects protruding from the bottom of the seafloor? And why would they be there to begin with? There's nothing in this area. There's no bases. And there's especially nothing that we know about or that would warrant the placement of such a massive grid of objects that are so large, in fact, these things are spanning miles. And so then I thought to myself, okay, we know that these strange energy waves that we talked about earlier in the week seem to be, or at least some of them seem to be coming from down in the general region of Antarctica. So what I did was I zoomed back out as you're seeing here, and I then precisely placed the mimic map with these strange energy anomalies directly over top of the globe here. So it matches up, South America matches up, and I wanted to see exactly where these strange spiraling energy waves are coming from. And so you're seeing that here, and as it loops over, I want you to pay attention to the area with which these spirals come from. And I will go ahead and circle the exact spot here of this strange grid that we found. And we'll go ahead and freeze frame it here. We see this strange spiral anomaly. And as we take away the map, you can see that this energy wave lines up eerily perfect with the location of this strange underwater grid. The Rothschild grid, as I'm now calling it. And so obviously... By looking at this map, the wave is so large, and the way they map it out is that you can't exactly pinpoint where it came from. But it's going right over this little area of Antarctica where this grid is. And what we've noticed also is that most of these energy waves have been going partially over or completely engulfing the country of Brazil and South America. And wouldn't you know it, over the past week or so, Brazil... South America as a whole has been experiencing very strange weather, along with some things happening with their ocean. Uh, there's a recent report out where residents were completely stunned when they came out to see that the shore in the ocean water that was once sitting there with their boats floating on top of it had completely disappeared. All right, receded. Water receded back, disappeared, leaving boats and anything that was originally floating there sitting on the dry sand. And there's a ton of Twitter posts about this. Uh, this affected both parts of Brazil and Uruguay. And it happened on August 11th and 12th, where suddenly, out of nowhere, the ocean receded in some parts nearly 20 meters, or between 30 and 50 feet, in a span of about 15 minutes. And again, it left yachts, fishing boats, and sea lions even, stranded. And, you know, we're not talking about the type of receding that happens twice a day at the oceans, uh, depending on where the moon is. We're not talking about that. This was something completely different that the villagers and the people had never seen before. And it was so scary to them that they actually thought that there was a tsunami coming and literally started leaving the area running for cover. Because, obviously, if all of this ocean water disappears within the span of 15 minutes, it's got to be going somewhere else. And so meteorologists were stumped and kind of came out and said, well, it, it may have been caused by strong winds coming from the north, but no one's buying that. And as you're looking at the pictures here, you can see the devastation that this left. It's happened before in places like India and stuff like that, but never seen like this, where the ocean just drains itself out. So, you know, um, some people believe this has to do with these strange energy waves moving over Brazil and Uruguay. And this isn't the only strange activity we had. We also have footage like this that has recently come out in the past few days, where once again in Brazil, uh, two men who must have balls of steel, because they stood here and recorded what amounts to a super massively tall land spout or land tornado that appeared out of nowhere and throughout the footage you'll notice seems to just stand in the exact same spot and if you know anything about tornadoes and stuff like that these things move around but this thing didn't do that and you know completely crazy can't believe these guys aren't taking shelter but here we have more strange and just crazy outrageous weather happening in brazil 
And you know, it's kind of really reaffirming that maybe these mysterious waves we're seeing do have something to do with weather manipulation, you know? And yeah, you know, a lot of things going on. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm just showing you guys what we know so far. I'm not definitively saying this is what is happening or this is what is not happening, you know? But I'm putting it out there just like every other channel trying to figure it out and definitely wanted to see what you guys thought of this mysterious grid here. So let me know down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook because you never know when Google or YouTube could hide my channel or channels like it and uh, you guys would want to know what was going on. So be sure to follow me there and stay tuned because I've got another video in the works. We've got some new UFO sightings, so I'm going to post that soon and have it up a little bit later. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys back in just a bit.